We all need the summer blues, blue delphinium, blue nigelia, blueberries. The full tutorial right now for you to enjoy. The inspiration for this design, the royal blue delphinium. It was so gorgeous, I knew that's where I had to start. So then, finding a royal blue, actually more navy, container and filling it with the enhanced biodegradable foam, the midnight foam, so it just disappears. And then cutting it very short so I don't have to try to hide it. The rest of the flowers, some beautiful nigelia, oryngium, some purple carnations to give a little bit of zing, then lavender, and my favorite, fresh blueberries. Not ripe yet, but they're perfect. First, placing the lines pulling the flowers out and looking at them, staging them, seeing taller, shorter, straighter, and analyzing. This one is such a perfect straight bloom, be grand to establish a high point. This one, a little bit more curved. So working with that curve, maybe going a little bit shorter so that it won't be as obvious, and placing it down low, and coming back, another curved, again, breaking it down. Carrying the eye. Ooh, a nice straight one, letting it come tall. And then looking at the buds, even they can tuck in. They're going to have movement to the sides, but it softens and makes that vertical movement a little less stiff. Coming in with another, trying to determine where I want it. It too is fairly straight. So just placing it in and pulling the eye more to the back, shadowed behind the first. For a sleek contemporary touch, I'm going to cover my foam, my mechanics, with basing, creating a pave of carnations. Tuck down low, hoping to break the line. And of course, pulling the eye back from one side of the container to the other. Because although it's a flat design, you don't want to be stiff. You want to carry the eye from the very front all the way through to the back. Now adding in texture, contrasting hues, maybe a softer, lighter blue. Bringing it in a little shorter. You can fill in the areas between the blooms. And it's still upright as it would grow, but obviously a little softer because it has that movement of the stem. And I go ahead and even use the pods that are starting to go to seed, as well as the blooms carrying it through front to back, then popping in a bit of the oryngium, cutting it down short and using it for additional basing, taking that blue all the way to the base of the arrangement, filling in also in the back, and then lavender. This will add great fragrance to the design clustering several in your hand, adjusting them so that they look upright, and giving it a cut, and then just placing it all in, all at the same time. A final touch, the blueberries, tucked in to create a little bit of emphasis right at the base, cutting them down, determining where they squeeze in, and giving that soft blue-green hue even coming out towards the front. And the foliage can be lovely too, but keeping it minimal, not too much, just a bit of an accent. The recipe started with that five stems of delphinium. Then I used about half a bunch of lavender, 15 of those fabulous purple carnations, two stems of oryngium, five stems of nigelia, and then lastly, the wonderful blueberries. Summer blues. I know, we say winter blues, 
But here we have summer blues along with blueberries. You'll find more creative inspiration at the website, flowerschool.com. If you have questions, you can reach us through there. But now it's your turn. Hunt up your most favorite blue blooms, blue blooms, and create. Be sure to take a photo, post it on social media, and hashtag Floral Design Institute. That way we all can see what you do as you do something you love.